this a hint? Hi guys, I'm going on vacation. I'm, I'm flying to Italy. I'm not not Florence. No, I know I've talked a lot about it a lot in the past videos. I'm going to Rome. Never in my life I've been to Rome. Italian city I've been before is Milan. Um, my suitcase was matching my hair color. I'm still debating whether I should take my iPad or my laptop with me because sometimes I have the urge to already edit and cut my videos at night when it comes to the iPad it's like nice to watch a series or a show this might bring me to draw tattoo designs which is also work but it's also fun hello I am at the airport but you know what I like about this airport is that everyone at the security and stuff is like so nice. Every time I'm here, they're really, really kind. I love that. So, <clears throat> my flight is delayed. One hour. So I'm just sitting here and wait. I was annoyed anyways at the fact that I would arrive only after midnight. And now it's gonna be so late. Good morning, Italy. I'm so tired, and it's so hot. <laughs> There's a hot guy on the other side doing morning coffee. That feels so stalkerish, but he can also look right inside here, so we're even. Okay, so this is my look. It's already um, like 11 a.m., so a little bit late. I woke up today at 5.30 or something um, because I already saw it getting bright outside because I was sleeping with the window, with the windows open. I was like, yeah, oh well, that's so nice. I just woke up, oh, it's so bright. And I looked at the time and it's so early in the morning. It was like, the fuck not. But I couldn't fall asleep again, it was so hot. Eventually I did fall asleep again. I do not have any plans for today. I guess I will just stroll around and discover. <laughs> So sweaty. With this weather conditions, I wish I wouldn't have any bags. I arrived at the cafe. Okay, so um, the, ca the cafe that I chose, <laughs> I just typed in on TikTok, cute brunch spots, Rome. And this was like the first thing or like the second thing that popped up and it, like, it, it indeed looked super, super nice. But, like, no offense, it didn't look like really authentic or anything, more like cute. And I thought, let's start this trip off with something, you know, that looks Instagrammable. So the, the staff may, may speak English and I feel like I need some comfort right now, you know. But this stuff was kind of, they made me feel really awkward, which I don't like, really uncomfortable. And it looked nothing like it did on TikTok, but it's like, I'm not really in the center right now. I feel like I'm, I'm like the area is not really cute. So um, yeah, I guess I will just eat my croissant. And of course my espresso. <laughs> And I will just do something really touristic so I know what I will be getting. Here you go. Hello everyone. I gotta give an update from my side. So I'm really disappointed so far. Okay, so first of all, the breakfast brunch situation, so disappointing. 
so then I was like, okay, well, fuck it. I will just walk a little further. I will just look for a nice street so I can, you know, enjoy my time. Just that was actually everything that I wanted to do here. I just want to walk around and like have pretty impressions and like enjoy my time. And the weather is okay. Like to, to, it's really cloudy today, but that's nice because it's it's still hot, but like it's it's okay. So I. I was walking towards the Vaticano and I don't know I mean it's my fault I, I get it it's my fault I prepared myself like in in no way and I'm silly I just thought well okay the Vaticano like it's a nice I guess it's a nice area nice place it looks pretty let's just go there let's fucking go <laughs> I stepped up there and yeah well no there's the there's a wall around it I feel so stupid saying that right now and yeah, of course, like, it's, what time is it? It's 2, 2 p.m. It's so full, like, the queue is so incredibly long. I'm not gonna stand there in line. So I walked a little further. I got myself an upper roll spritz to go. And, you know, that all wouldn't be that much of a dramatic thing. But the problem is I do not have internet around here. Usually it should work with um, with the data that I have and like the contract that I have it should work in different countries uh, if it's just in Europe. So yeah, right now I'm sitting here. I have no Wi-Fi. I have no clue how to get from here to the place that I want to go now because it's just not loading <laughs> on Google Maps seems like like GPS works but it seems like really 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 far to walk there uh, <laughs> what am I doing okay guys this is a mess <laughs> it looks really 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 dark and cloudy now and it's getting more windy and windy so I feel like it's gonna rain soon I sort of have a destination like it's this area I will blend in the name here because I already <laughs> forgot wait I just want an April spritz to go. I bought some postcards. Great. And now I'm hoping to escape the rain. All right, when I was walking it was so stressful, so I'm gonna talk now. All right, looks like it's about to rain, which I do not approve. And it's just so... This thing is weird. I, what I learned from today is when I will get back to my Airbnb I will definitely check out like exactly where I want to go tomorrow I do not want to be spontaneous and like just walk around the streets and hope for the best and like I don't I, mean, I do not feel like this this is working here which is surprising me it's really pissing me off that my wife um, that my that my internet is just not working because if it was working I could just you know look for in the next um, like train or a bus that will get me to the place that I want to see even when I'm walking around here it doesn't feel like I can enjoy the city as much as I would wish to not sure why but I feel stressed yeah look cute from this angle let's see it's like not so cute right now. Great. They have old milk. Oh my god guys the craziest thing ever happened no it's not the craziest thing but i was really so close to crying because um from the last clip where i was telling you that it's like so stressful my internet isn't working i was running around a little bit more and it was like like in a movie it suddenly started to rain um i was so stressed out because it was so crowded i didn't know what to do i found like shelter in a marketplace where um well, it was inside, so it wasn't raining, but that one was also closing. It was just with tourist t-shirts and souvenirs and like the market itself, it was already closing. My Wi-Fi was still not working. My internet 
um, horrible. And I was like, I don't know what the fuck to do. I only know how to get to the metro. So I was like, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go home. <laughs> And I don't know, make a plan and then try again in the night time. Um, I walked down the street and there was this secondhand store. So I was like, well, whatever, let's just jump right in. And then the uh, the woman that was working there, she was like, oh my god, I love your hair, blah, blah. She started the conversation and she wrote me down so many things. Um, we exchanged numbers and we we're like, let's meet for coffee and for breakfast tomorrow morning at 10. So cute. She was even like, oh, I know this restaurant is good. My friend is working there. Um, text me when you're there so I can let her know that you're there. Maybe you can hang out together later on. And I left the store and suddenly the sun was shining again. My internet works now. Um, so stupid, so easy. She was like, can you try to turn off your phone and turn it on again? I did it and it worked. I'm Gen Z. I work in media. Yay! So I'm feeling better now. I did some photo oh, you want, you know. at the restaurant which Ella, the girl that I just met, uh, recommended me. It's like the restaurant of her friends and it was really sweet because when I arrived um, they were like oh my god you're Hannah right? You're Ella's friend and I'm like yeah. <laughs> so that's really nice. <laughs> Mm. Yeah, thanks. It's really good. Met someone who took pictures of me. Take one as well. I haven't done it myself. <laughs> Do that, then you got like double chin. <laughs> yeah. It's hard. <laughs> Hi, Kieran. Hi. <laughs> Kieran take, can take amazing photos. And me too. So we're helping each other out here. <laughs> Day two. I'm gonna meet up with uh, Ella for breakfast. I think uh, I have to go now. Maybe um, I will be on time then. Yes, so let's see what this day will bring. I wanna go vintage shopping today. All right, so there's a strike uh, with all public transportation from 8.30 to 4.30, so that's really unfortunate. Ew. Ew. Uh, I managed to get like one bus that only drove me to another metro station where I would have to change. Uh, and those aren't driving, those metro stations aren't even open yet, so I just decided to walk. Uh, it will take me about one and a half hour. <laughs> and I got this. It's like, I forgot what its name is, but it looks nice and it's with the pistachio cream. Oh my god. This was one euro forty. What the fuck? It's so good. Really good. Alright, so I told Ella that I will be joining her later for a coffee since now I finally arrived in Castavera. Again, like it's not, it wasn't my destination, but at least I'm here. And there's actually a vintage store that I uh, saved, so I'll check that out. Um, and just start my day here, because I feel like I'm already so exhausted. And here I am at the vintage store. Oh, let's fucking go. This one is super nice. It's, it's like really hot today. Usually I'm okay with boots when it's hot. I feel like now it's just because I haven't really eaten, bre I haven't really eaten breakfast and it's like um, super uh, exhausting since the public transportation doesn't work. But I think now since I have to walk so much already early in the morning, no real food inside of my tummy. And I have to walk so much, it's like exhausting. Yeah. This is a, a restaurant, uh, Tonarello. Tonarello. That someone from Hinge recommended. It's actually quite nice inside. 
I uh, escaped to Tonaeo and I skipped breakfast. I will just go for lunch now since I'm really not good. I'll eat something and drink some water, relax, sit down and then I'm probably gonna be fine. I'm just um, confused since this is this restaurant seems quite commercial. I expected it to be more like traditional at first. I didn't know what it was because this pinch dude just recommended it to me. And I'm confused since if I would recommend someone something, if they are visiting a place for the first time, I would recommend them something more not authentic. I don't want to say it's unauthentic because the pasta would probably be really, really good. <sighs> Whatever. Let's go. So, I mean, maybe I have to eat more. I ordered the chili pepper pinto. Are they cold? It's cold? Yes, it's cold. No, it's okay. Every sequence in this video is just me and this poor man talking to you. Usually I try to um, put in some, some, some scenes where, you know, where I'm filming just the scenery. But to be honest, I do not have the capacities for that. This trip is interesting. I do feel actually really bad, so I'm, I'm, my head isn't functioning right now. I feel sort of dizzy, but I want to take care of myself, so I'm ta taking a break here. I'm sitting here, uh, I have water with me. I also ha uh, had a napkin with me that I put under water and like tried to cool my neck area and stuff. The public transportation is still striking so therefore I have to walk to my destination. I'm just taking it like really slow. Well, anyways, I hope you're having a good day. Um, why am I talking like this is an outro? It's not. See you later. So eine Kugel Eis, da hätte ich jetzt Bock drauf. Tja. Ah ja. What do we want? Limone et Sincero. Was ist das? Sincero? Oder Mango einfach. Okay, I got Greek yogurt and pizza. So this is espresso with chocolate. Um, it's the cafe that Ella and I wanted to go to this morning. She recommended it to me and she said that they have like amazing coffee. Basically espresso with chocolate. I'm in this small pizzeria. Um, like, it feels like it's in the middle of nowhere. It's not, but uh, someone that works in the store just recommended it to me because he said it was like the best pizza is so authentic and so cheap. Like, it's not a fancy place, but it's nice. And I was like, give it to me. I got a beer and I and I ordered the pizza with mushrooms. This pizza for me. I got another thing today, which is this bag. Oh my god. This bag, it's a collaboration with East Pack and Avava. Really cute. And I got it from this store, Groovy. Groovin, sorry. Um, the staff was really cute, it was really sweet. So when I was wearing it today in the store, it was like nice, but now that I'm wearing a like a bigger shirt it's like really nice with it like i like how it's just it's just flowing with the shirt with this one especially it's really nice Good morning everyone. This street is so nice. It's already super hot today. It's day three. 
free. I will just go to a cafe now that's uh, in my neighborhood. It's really not far, it should be like only down the street. I will eat, hopefully eat breakfast there. I feel like I've been so unlucky when it came to breakfast the last few days. Uh, and I will also call a friend of mine. I feel like there's a lot going on with my look today with the hair clips, the sunglasses. Am I in focus even? Yes, that's been about to be here. I feel like I'm so awkward. So everything is with me when it comes to savory stuff. That's really unfortunate. But they also have this. Hmm. I have a cappuccino, a croissant, of course. I forgot what this is. It's a really nice place. They have a really nice outside area and I feel like I was actually it's nice. The day is starting well. Not like the other days. I mean they weren't like horrible but it was kind of stressful for me. Today is nice. This is the perfect place to call with my friend and hopefully the food will also be nice. Wait, this croissant is actually kind of nice. I don't want to shit on croissants here because obviously this is Italy, it's not prawns. Healthy, tastes good. I bought a record. <laughs> oh, um, what? Alrighty, so I just sat down again at Chacha with a chocolate espresso. The area with the Travi fountain and uh, it was just it was just too much. And I will look for a place to eat dinner soon. Okay, so I'm in this really nice restaurant because I just wanted to eat truffle pasta. I have a thing with truffle and I really wanted to eat it. And this restaurant was like nice choice. It's like in this crowded area, but a little bit, a little bit more away from the, all the people. So it's like empty here. Got myself some white wine. Really excited. Really hungry. Okay, so this is my nighttime look and did I mention it? I'm not sure but yesterday I met a girl from Star and she invited me to like a house party. Um, so yeah, her name is Stella and I'm gonna meet up with Stella now and her friends and yeah. I hope it's gonna be cute, but I bet so. Well, for some weird reason, there's no audio with these clips, but I went to the beach on my last day and I was really excited because I had to run for my life to catch the train, um, but I did. And then I walked to the beach and it was definitely the most beautiful day I had in Rome. So yeah, that was really, really cute. All right, everyone. Uh, I'm back home. I'm really badly sunburned on my back and basically on my whole body. And now I will just go for dinner. It's my last day, my last night. Maybe drink an Aperol afterwards. And then I will just go to sleep because my taxi will be there, hopefully. Will hopefully be there at 3.50 a.m. Nice. All right, so I will end this vlog here. I hope you had a great time. I had a great time, and I hope I will see you in the next video too. Bye.